And now the Morris Mini Miner has become a production line reality, ready in a minute or two to drive off. And here's your car, ready for the road. The first job I had uh, at Cali, but I, I finished my apprenticeship and I, I got this job at Cali on inspection uh, for the Tiger Moth, but it was the, the view room so, uh, ch checking the, the various bits that came in to make sure they were to the correct drawings. We managed to produce over 6,000 cars a week, plus a lot of cars that we sent overseas in bits and pieces in crates, crates to be assembled in our plants overseas. So it was quite, and it was a pretty uh, clapped out old plant, because no Nuffield blessing wouldn't spend any money, you know, it'll, if it works, keep it going. Yes. I remember when we made the millionth minor, well it wasn't the, first, the only one, but I think we made about, about a hundred of them. Well they were a pretty hideous colour, well, I can't remember exactly what it was, I think it was a sort of purpley colour, not very really nice at all, but uh, it always struck me as being odd that the millionth minor was about a hundred of them, and they were then of course sent round to the showrooms of the distributors and dealers in the country, so they all had a millionth minor. We, we struggled with the first year's production of the Mini, and at the end of that time we, we got it pretty good, and it was, it was liked. People began to like it and think, it, instead of thinking it was a silly little car that looked look, look so stupid. Uh, and then we, Longbridge wanted to cash in on the making of the Mini, so they started to make one up there, and I believe that they called it the Austin 7. Uh, had this as a, but they never made a lot of them, but they somehow had the idea that they made the first minis, which wasn't true. We made the first year's production at Cali. Um, in the 11 years that I've worked here, I've seen so many changes. Mini production changes almost on a day-by-day -day basis. But even in the technology that we were using at the very beginning, which I thought was state-of-the-art, we're constantly, constantly investing in the latest, latest technology. Um, we've got fabulous technology around us, from smart technology in the conference rooms to the very latest equipment for the associates working on the line. It changes constantly and that's part of why it's such a great place to work. I think this plant offers amazing opportunities for women. Um, I think people have got the wrong idea about car manufacture. People think it's a dirty, smelly, filthy environment, and it absolutely isn't. It's no different to going into a clean room or into an office every day. Um, the opportunities are amazing. If you want to take the opportunity, they're there to be had. So, at the moment, heavily involved in getting these thousand robots or so up and running and what that really means is making sure that it does what we bought them for so we're checking the programming on them we're making sure they're capable of building the parts that we want them to build and of course importantly that they're integrated into the existing facilities that we have and we maintain here on site in Oxford. Okay. Over the last 17 years I've seen enormous range and diversity of change both with the people although some of the faces remain the same uh, many of the techniques we use, many of the uh, facilities and the machines that we use have changed enormously. Obviously we've got much newer generations of robot and computers that operate them nowadays and the processes, the standards that we actually work to have improved enormously as well. So in the last hundred years my favourite car produced here in Oxford would have to be the Mini I think. I've seen it from its birth when it first was produced on site here um, I've seen the changes that have taken place in the subsequent 12, 13 years and yeah, as a, as a family uh, driver, I take my children around in them regularly and it's a practical car and ultimately it's really good fun. The 28th of March is important and special to me because it celebrates obviously 100 years of building cars here on site in Oxford. It's a landmark for us in the UK as the longest site of continuous car manufacture. So. It's really important and it's an exciting day. Uh, yeah, the future looks bright for us as well. Um, and yeah, as such, we should be celebrating.
The highlight for me during my 42 years was undoubtedly in 1994 when BMW purchased the Rover Group. That in itself has seen tremendous improvements in the business here and importantly a secure future for many thousands of people. One of, the, one of the significant differences you will see on an assembly line today is the lack of material. The just-in-time philosophy has removed huge amounts of material from the track side. It makes the working environment far better. I worked here in Plant Oxford for 42 years. My grandfather worked for the Press Steel Company here. He started in the 1940s and retired in the 1960s. He was a production welder. My father worked at Morris Motors and he retired after becoming chief safety engineer. My mother worked at Morris Motors in the trim shop on what was the twilight shift in the 1960s. My son worked in the mini plant whilst on vacation from university. I think there's quite a number of quite really fantastic cars came out of Cowley in the, in the last um, hundred years. For instance, the new Mini, I think, has been very good. Um, the, the old original Bolnose Morris was a fantastic car, and also the Morris Minor, which uh, sustained Cowley for quite a number of years and was the first million-selling car that came out of this factory. I think those, uh, to me, are some of the highlights of the cars that have come out of, uh, out of Cowley. The major changes that I've seen uh, in my time here and comparing it with when my father was here, uh, I think the diversity of the workforce has changed significantly. There are many more women here than there were when I started um, and also the people are not uh, from the immediate local area. People travel much further afield to come to work here than they did in the past. And of course the technology and everything else is wildly different than it was then. So for me, today is all about remembering the history of the plant and especially my family history with my grandfather being here since 1927 and looking forward to the future with great excitement as well. Very good. I started here on March 26, 1973. I've done various roles from a trucker in the stores, I've worked in the press shop and I'm now an industrial engineer in assembly. My favourite car to come out of Plant Oxford has to be the new Mini. Uh, it's such a wonderful car. We now have five derivatives of it, which is something un unheard of in the past. And it's been such a success and I just hope it carries on. March the 28th is a very special day. Not only is it the anniversary of the first Bullnose Morris to be built in Oxford. It's also the day I retire after 40 years, many of happy years, where I've met many nice people, made a lot of good friends. So I have quite a strong family history here at Plant Oxford. My father started his career here. My grandfather, both my grandfathers, my great-grandfather, and he started around the 1920s. So it's a long history of the Crowder family at Plant Oxford, which is quite a thing to be proud of. Over the last hundred years, this plant had a lot of owners. We are the current custodian and we are proud of this. 19 years of ownership by BMW Group is a quite fair portion of this history. And with our investment, we make the future even brighter. This plant is special to me because when I'm walking through this plant, seeing the world-class team building fantastic cars with this enthusiasm. And on the other hand, you see the history all over. This is something which makes me proud to lead this plant. Nach 100 Jahre interessanter, faszinierender Geschichte an diesem Standort bereiten wir uns gerade auf die nächste Generation des Minis vor. Mit fast einer Milliarde Investitionen tun wir alles, damit die Zukunft noch schöner, noch besser wird als die Vergangenheit.